Okay, so we just took our first break. Uh, the Honda is experiencing a little bit higher temperatures. We were like 221, getting close to 230 uh, for transmission temperature. But, uh, so, we're, or, so we're gonna let it just cool down for a little bit right now. Uh, but it is hot outside, it's like 98 degrees and we we're going uphill. So we're just gonna give it some time. I mean, other than that, I mean, you gotta think about the circumstance and this temperature that we're exposed to. The Honda's doing really well pulling this huge trailer. Anyways, this is such a wonderful truck. Love it. Subaru is good too. Good car. stopped for a couple minutes to let that transmission cool off it only went down like 19 degrees so we're gonna keep moving keep that airflow going hopefully it cools down a little bit quicker it looks like we're getting close to the top of the mountain here anyways since we we'll start going back down I think we'll be fine um, but yeah it was at 225 230 it was getting a little bit hot Again, it is uh, it's 90 degrees right now, so it came down a little bit. It was 94 degrees when we stopped. Uh, but in general, I think it's doing really well. I'm asking a lot of this truck to make it this far, in this temperature. Most of America is going to be like this. It's going to be hot and dry. So the luxury that inside the Seattle Bay Area, getting that natural AC from the ocean. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting that luxury anywhere else. So, yeah, we're already climbing up 210 degrees. Um, but, anyways, we're going to watch it. I don't know how many more stops we're going to have to do, but definitely don't want to push this transmission too hard because I still have a long way to go. So, a little bit about the truck. Very comfortable to sit in it, especially for this kind of a road trip. Don't have any issues yet, or I haven't gotten tired. I've been driving for the last five hours or so. One issue I had with other vehicles, uh, my Subaru has this problem, is uh, your knees when you're sitting in the vehicle for a long period of time. Not necessarily your knees, but the shin. Uh, the way that they have the center console set up is it kind of rubs right into your shin. So here on the uh, Honda, uh, they don't have that issue. So this is actually pretty convenient and definitely makes the road trip much more bearable. It's really quiet in this truck. As you're driving for a long period of time, you start realizing that uh, a quieter cabin is very convenient because all that road noise, it gets, it gets pretty uh, annoying over time. So we just got to Idaho, pulling up to a gas station. We had 241 miles on this tank. So let's see how much we're gonna fill up this time around. It's a lot more warm here in Idaho. It's like an averaging 98. So far the truck has actually been in the high, or actually the low 200s for the majority of this trip. Uh, in Idaho. As soon as we got into Idaho with that higher temperature, um, we were seeing, or I was seeing actually, uh, about 210 on average. For the most part, it was peaking up at around 220. So, but in general, again, truck's doing well.
Yeah, for some reason on the right side, and it might be because the sun is on this side, but this side's been a little bit warmer for the majority of the trip. I also noticed when I was checking the temperature on the truck, these rear tires, probably with all the weight, they've actually been running much hotter than the front tires. But still, all in all, everything's doing pretty well. So for some reason my radar system and brake system has just went off so we're going to go ahead and restart the truck and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, everything seems to be fine. <laughs> Strange. Looks like it was just some sort of fluke. Anyways, let's get going. Chasers, and we're just saying, you know, right over there, there's a tornado. I'm here right here. <laughs> it's playing like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll uh, see what's going on. I'm probably gonna head out here in a little bit, hopefully, and uh, just continue with the journey. It's all part of uh, experiencing this whole entire move across the country and experiencing uh, every state's weather patterns. It's actually really interesting. It's 10 o'clock right now and it's 91 degrees here in Idaho, which is actually astonishing because the truck, uh, it's at 210 degrees for the transmission. And I actually thought that if we drove through the night, I'd probably do a lot better and it'd be cooler, but actually it's been running hotter since we went uh, and we've been uh, driving. So that's kind of strange for me, but I only imagine how much worse it would be if we were driving during the day. So, because it did get to 101 degrees, it was the hottest I saw today. So I think 90 degrees is going to be a lot better uh, to drive in than uh, 100 degrees. So anyways, the audio might suck really bad because it's really windy, but uh, sorry about that. Alright, uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. So we just passed Twin Falls, uh, Idaho, and we're gonna stop by here and get some gas before we keep going on the next leg of the trip. 
Uh, we got 174 miles or so, but uh, we got quite a bit more to go because we want to end up the night at Salt Lake City. So it's been uh, a long journey. The truck, for some reason, I think it's just been so hot all day today that uh, it's been running close to 200 for the most part of the night. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna fill up and then keep going. So all right, see you guys on the next portion of the trip. The bag started melting. We're gonna go with this galvanized flashing. The Honda Ridgeline is actually starting to experience some pretty serious overheating 